Yeah, I thought, Nigel, I mentioned after the Rhode Island game, our, our veterans really in that game played well. Nigel obviously being, though new with his experience, that showed, and he guarded, um, I can't remember uh, the, the player, but guarded a quick guard and again did a nice job against Wisconsin. And then tonight, number one is very quick. He's one of the quicker guys that we've gone up against. And I thought he um, he matched up with them well defensively. So that's where we started, but made some nice plays, touched the paint, um, found people. Obviously, had a couple of nice alley oops late, but that was good to see uh, in terms of him because he's uh, he's got the quickness and the speed that kind of uh, energizes us. And again, to guard that ball is really important. But to look at our 21 assists, six turnovers, eight assists, one turnover for him was nice to see. I mean, uh, Lehigh is not a team that really turns the ball over much, and it seemed like you guys got out in transition using you know those turnovers. How much do you think that impacted in the game and, and how yeah. you kind of thought they played? Well, you can tell Lehigh. I mean, they they're hard to guard. I, I respect the job that coach does. They they have good shooters. Tahada played well. Um, you know, they'll test you with those three quick guards, and they put pressure. If you weren't in the right spot, they're gonna they're gonna let it fly. Ten of twenty four from three showed that. So anytime. In a game, I liked our defense in the first half when we were setting back. I didn't think it was great in the second half. I thought they they got some easy looks and we weren't as sharp as we could have. But points off transition, whether it's offensive rebounds, points off transition, turnovers, sorry, um, or you know getting to the line, those are really important. And tonight we capitalized early, especially as the game was sort of back and forth. Those turnovers turned into quick buckets for Devin, uh, Kyle, different guys, and got some offensive rebounds on that. Tony, sorry to look ahead, but a, a two-parter. Uh, one, you've played West Virginia before, that style. Um, how does this year's roster kind of pair up with what they like to do? And big picture, how much do you like to play these different styles in your non-conference? Yeah, we're playing a lot. I, I'll start locking into West Virginia now. Um, it's, it's at West Virginia. Coach Huggins is the coach. And I, I believe Carter is in his, his last year, who's a heck of a player. Uh, they're tough. They're good. But I'll, I'll, I know they, they put a lot of pressure on you, so it'll be another test. And again, a different style. When you play in a league with as many styles and teams as the ACC, I, I think it's good. You see different looks. We've seen small ball we've, at VCU. You've seen Wisconsin. You just I think that's important for us as we go forward. Jeff. DeAndre looked, <coughs> for the most part, comfortable out there today more than he has. It was his birthday. Of course he did. Yeah. So. Um, uh, but what's what's the key for him when he comes in off the bench like that? Well, again, just like I answered the question with Nigel, I'll start with the defensive end for DeAndre. I thought he was sliding and using his length and keeping some quick guards in front. That's invaluable for our team and for him um, establishing that. You know, with Nigel, I mean, sorry, with DeAndre, just be as great as you can defensively and, and let it come offensively. We got him in the post on a couple actions. Um, he uh, Again, he established it first defensively and did some good things. And uh, again, his length and his ability to guard different guys, uh, I think, helps us out. So I thought it was another step in the right direction for Dre. What did you see from Ty today and maybe the past couple of games as well? Just kind of thought it doesn't seem like he has that much confidence with his shot. Yeah, no, well, he, Ty, if he's open, shoot it. Um, I thought he had, you know, I told him, lead this team. You, you keep, he said, it was basically, you be a fierce leader and keep everybody else in line. You start with that and be who you are that way. And that's getting guys involved when the shot's there, take it. He doesn't, a couple times early, he acknowledged maybe he, he tried to make something out of nothing midway through the shot clock. But I thought he took all the right shots. He had a quick matchup um, defensively. But um, he, um, you look at him, four assists, zero turnovers, and he understands the game. And you know we've watched him make big three after big three last year, and he's done it for us at times this year. But um, he's just got to keep grooving that stroke, and when it's there, take it and run this team when he's out there and be, be smart, heady, and tough, and that's what I ask of him. I understand that much of your uh, evaluation of Jay Huff comes from practice, but what have you been seeing leading up to this today? He practiced well the last couple of days, and that's why I used him. Um, that's important. Uh, and, you know, some of it has to do with matchups, but I thought he's done a good job. And I uh, just tell him, don't get discouraged. Again, you know, all of these guys, Marco, Jay, they're used to being the main guy on their high school team. Then they step into this, and it's, it's a change. But, um, but I shared the Frank Kaminsky sto story with Jay before we played Wisconsin. I said, there's a young man who – you know, his first couple years wasn't much. I said, just keep developing, keep growing. He practiced better the last couple of days. We thought there was a matchup, and that's why I used him. 
and uh, he did a solid job. It was good for him. And you know, you can see his, you can see the the highlights, the you know, running and transition, tip dunking, and all that. But it's in the meat and potatoes or the substance that you know all these young guys have to keep working and being solid, and that's where they earn their time uh, as the season progresses. But he, he didn't hit a three, but he obviously gives that dynamic when he's out on the floor to stretch it. Twenty one. 21 to 6 assist to turnover ratio. Yeah. What does that say about the flow and the way you guys were able to kind of have your way with it on both ends? Yeah, our formula doesn't change. We have to take care of the ball and get good shots. Every time we play, we've got to be back, make teams work to get good shots against us, which we didn't do as well in the second half. But um, taking care of the ball, ball security while still playing with a flow is really important. So I, I like that when the ball is shared. It's an unselfish group. Um, and, and you can see that we've I've been blessed to have that here for almost all my years. So, but I like this group that way. Looks like uh, Kyle got his three point stroke back up. Uh, 21 points in 24 minutes. And uh, just talk about his game today. Yeah, I thought he, you know, he was moving well and he had his rhythm. Um, and you know, again, he's he's developed the ability to put it on the floor as he showed against Wisconsin and some other games. So that he's not just, he can only shoot the threes. So, you know, run them off the line and he's not going to be able to do much. He showed his ability to drive and shoot. And I, I like how he's moving and coming off quick and getting his feet set and shooting it. So, yeah, he had, you know, he's like, I only have two fouls. That's what he said. And I said, that's right. Sit down next to me. So, um, but uh, he's, you know, it, it was, um, he, he's, he's a weapon for sure. And a threat when, when he's on the floor. Uh, sitting here at eight and zero, what do you like about this team so far? Um, I, I think they know who they are um, collectively. As I said, they're they're good. They they understand how they have to play. Our our way isn't going to overwhelm people. It's just chip away. Again, I mentioned just be as rock solid. When you have Isaiah on the back on the front line or behind you, and his the way he communicates, the way he helps, and Jack in that manner, those guys anchor us. Uh, and then you know you have. Uh, a guy like Devin who's been through the wars and is playing at a high level who's just sound and tough. Those three, they know what it takes. And then we have willing and able guys behind them. So I think they're collected, collectively strong. And I think they understand how they have to play. And the test will continue to come. But they seem to enjoy each other. It's a close group. Every coach says that. But you know, you always observe things. And there's just something a little different in that regard. And I really have enjoyed um, working with them up to this point and, and we'll continue because of that.